friends i hope you all are doing well i would like to introduce myself i am mrs jyoti kulkarni you are english teacher i think you all are fed up of these holidays but you are if you are enjoying your holidays in playing and all but we teachers are not happy because you are not in the school so just and i think your parents are a bit tensed about your study and all that's why we have decided to take our online class okay so today the first lesson of your class 7th standard that is a tiger in the house written by ruskin bond i hope you all have heard the name of great author ruskin bond even though he is from india he used to write for america and all and i would like to tell something about ruskin bond ruskin bond is really a great writer he used to write many more stories and so many novels and all and almost in his stories he used to take give details and he used to describe about the pets and as well as his grandparents especially his grandfather okay and before going to start the lesson just i want to give you the summary of the lesson as this story is very interesting this lesson is very interesting because this is about a tiger as tiger before it was a tiger cub and finally it is a tiger the story is totally about the tiger the grandmother the grandfather of the ruskin boy okay so here the writer is telling some good qualities about the animals okay so as uh, he one uh, tiger cub as you know the baby of the cat is called as kitten the baby of the dog is called as puppy like the baby of the tiger is called as cub here in this lesson how the cub became the tiger and how it reacts to the grandfather so guys as i told ruskin bond used to describe uh, many more things about the pets so he described his cub which is named as timothy very nicely in this lesson okay i think you two have pets at your home you all like dogs puppies cats like wise the ruskin bond means the ruskin bond is telling this story about his grandfather his grandfather found a cub in the forest and uh, he treated it as his own a very lovingly animal and finally what is going to happen that we will see in the lesson okay guys before going to the explanation of the lesson it is better to go for the new words once we understood the meaning of the new words then definitely it is very easy for you to understand the lesson okay okay then the first see here i have written the new words so first one is abandoned so what do you mean by abandoned abandoned means left completely and forever okay left completely or forever means for example if you are having some bad habits okay uh, watching tv continuously so that time you can say i have abandoned watching tv i have aban abandoned having tea often and often right bit bidu ko anta artha okay adakna abandoned anta heltidi okay guys the next one is veterinarian okay it is pronounced as veterinarian veterinarian means doctor trained to treat sick animals as we for uh, human beings we have many more different specialists like orthopedic dentist okay like the same the doctor who used to treat sick animals 
animals are called as veterinarian. Okay, I hope you understood. So next, expedition. Expedition means journey for a certain purpose. Journey for a certain purpose means moving from one place to another, having some intention, having some purpose means one kade ta innond kade prayana madu deka da. Ena do udesh mari kono prayana madu deka expedition na thayda. So let's move for tempting. Tempting means attracting. Attracting means, for example, nowadays you all guys are tempting towards the video games. Okay, so tempting means attracting means akushale iron to do. Okay, so let's move for the very new word is I think mongrel dogs whose parents were of different breeds. As I already told you, Ruskin Bond used to take the animals in his uh, stories and all. So here mongrel means this is a puppy, okay, which is uh, from the different breeds of dogs. Bare bare jati and nai gari na barantha undu puppy and then nai mari anta na mile herbodu. Okay, then spring, I think you will get the meaning very easily because all you have a spring in your ball pipes. Spring means move quickly or jump. Okay, to mani bengi mogodu utha jump manodu that is spring. Next new word ridiculously means funny and absurd. Funny means mochu manodu, teasing someone, teasing some animal that is funny. And the next is amusement. Amusement means something that Timothy enjoyed doing. As I already told you, here the name of the cub is Timothy and that Timothy used to do something very interestingly that is called as amusement. And crafty look. Crafty look means cleverly deceitful look. Cleverly means observing something very interestingly. Crafty look and heavy. Okay. Then retriever. Okay. Retriever means middle sized hunting dog. Not too fat, not too lean. A very middle sized hunting dog. Betinai and the Nedivala. A betinai. A betinai. To marry the Piro and the La. A middle sized betinai. Retriever and heavy. Okay. Then give a wide birth. Gave a wide word means which is going to be very suitable in this situation because it means stayed at a safe distance because because of this COVID we are having the distance okay social distance we are maintaining that that the distance only is called as gave a wide word okay to mani antai kondi rodike now gave a wide word anta okay I hope you understood this glossary or new word. Okay, so what you have to do guys, you have to write this in your fair book twice because once you understood the meaning of this, then only you can understand the lesson very easily. That's why and at the end of the lesson, I will ask you to write the name of the word means I will give this one and then I will ask you to write this. That's why it is very good if you practice and buy this twice in your notebook.